Hey, what's going on RC drivers? I've got the Spectrum DX5 Rugged Special Edition here and uh, it's very, very green. <laughs> this thing really stands out. It's actually pretty cool. When I first got it, I was like, wow, that's a lot of green there. Uh, but after I've had it for a little while, it's really grown on me and I really like it. I, I kind of wanted the orange one, but now I think I really like this green one. Now, we've actually tested the Rugged before here on this channel. Uh, here's my rugged radio, and I actually really like this radio. There were some people that had a bit of an issue with it because of the touch panel on the back, and I could certainly understand that. I was, however, able to really get this thing down pat, and uh, I did have my few oopsies moments here and there, uh, you know, just kind of messing around with the touch control to get through the menu of the system. Um, but uh, Spectrum heard everybody co uh, basically complaining about the, the touch panel, and uh, they decided to switch things up and uh, give us a little bit of extra in, in the process. Uh, so this, the new Spectrum Ruggeds, now have a new touch panel on it, including the standard version uh, from what I have been told now has the new touch panel on it. So if you're not into the green or you're not into the orange, uh, yes, you could still get a standard looking radio and uh, have that new touch panel on there. Now I'm not gonna go over this in great detail because we've been over this already. I will uh, link to this particular review uh, up on the, in the cards and stuff. Uh, and uh, also in the description as well. But we're just gonna go over a few of the functions here that uh, really make this radio stand out. And obviously it's a 2.4 gigahertz radio system. It operates on Spectrum's DSMR. It is back compatible to the DSM-2 technology that they have. So that's really good if you've got a bunch of receivers laying around. And it's got everything inside the computer side of things that you're ever really going to need, uh, especially if you're a basher and even racers. Uh, but uh, you know, it, it really covers a full range of different users uh, all in this one system here. Uh, so, you know, you've got your, your throttle trims and your steering trims and your dual rates, uh, and then you have multiple channel operation. You have up to five channel operation with this, and you've got these little thumb switches on the bottom that are really easy to access. Uh, so, you know, again, I, I think this really has a lot of people covered. You know, uh, steering curves, throttle curves, mixing, and then most importantly, it's got the telemetry functions as well. And, and a lot of people are really starting to get into the telemetry stuff. When telemetry stuff first came out, I was like, I don't think I'm ever going to use that. But now with the, the Spectrum Smart Technology uh, telemetry stuff, I, I really like it because one of the cool features on there is being able to see the voltage of your battery and uh, right here on the display. So that way when you're driving, you get to visually see how low the, the battery is, is getting. And then there's other telemetry functions as well that you could adapt to this with optional sensors and stuff. You could do RPM and you could do temperature, but that smart technology feature that incorporates the battery voltage I think is just super cool for anyone using a, a, a horizon based a spectrum based products uh, you're really going to find that useful for enjoying your RC hobby uh, but you know, back to the radio itself uh, again it's got the, the cool look that we saw before it's got these bumpers on here so if you drop this thing uh, you know it will take an impact it's got a nice rubber wheel on there and it does have the thumb lever as well so if you're like a rock crawling guy and you, you like to hold a camera on one hand like like I do and drive with the other, uh, that is possible. And actually, I drive a lot of my cars like that, a lot of the racing cars and stuff. When I'm getting footage here for the channel, I'm driving with one hand while holding a camera in the other hand. And, and I find this radio really comfortable. And, and now that they have this new touch panel on here, I'm going to use it a lot more. I actually used it a lot at, you know, as, as it was here because I really got used to that touch panel. But this one, from the moment I turned it on, was so much easier to use. I mean, it was almost like I was using a cell phone. It was that easy to control. Uh, it just, you know, no problems whatsoever, in my opinion, getting through that, that touch panel now. And I think anybody that, that picks this up that has used a cell phone before or a tablet will find this really easy to use. So uh, that, that's really about it. I mean, it's available in this green, it's available in orange, and again, you could get it in the standard version. It's They're all updated. Uh, you could use the spectrum telemetry functions through here. And I think uh, it's really just about time that I go out and give it a shot out there on the trail is what I'm gonna do. So I'm actually gonna go put it into my ready to run uh, Axial Jeep uh, SCX-10 III because that's already equipped. I'm gonna take the DX3 radio out of it, uh, just bind this right to the receiver and uh, you know go out and crawl with it that's one thing I did need to mention about this that I haven't yet is this is what you get when you open up the box so here's the box back here 
It's just the standard DX radio box and it's got a uh, label on the front of it that lets you know that's the green version inside doesn't have a receiver. So if you don't have anything and you just pick up this radio, you're going to need a receiver. And uh, Spectrum has a bunch of different receivers available, including the receivers that have telemetry in them. So just be aware of that. The only thing you get inside of the box is the manual and an addendum sheet to tell you how to use the touch panel. That's all that's in that box right there. And you're, of course, gonna have to supply the AA batteries for it. All right, so I'm gonna go and bind this to a couple of cars, go out and drive it, show you guys that telemetry function and uh, give you my overall thoughts at the end. Got my new rugged radio setup on my Tenacity DB Pro. It's time to go do some jumps. Rip it around the grass for a little. Oh, we got a rock caught. All right, here's my DB Pro. Just gonna rip it around. Love this car. really like the feel of this radio i mean just for any type of use it does work really well that's a little weird i think my servo died on me yeah look at that all right so after a little time on the workbench i figured out that uh, i didn't actually turn down the gain and that was my problem, uh, the ABC gain. That was my problem for the steering. So uh, that was my fault. You definitely need to set this up, but uh, now it's time to actually get to play with this one. Nice and smooth. I love this buggy. But uh, this radio does feel really good. I don't know how much rip this buggy has. But uh, here is, here's the big part right here, guys. Let me turn that, or nope, I gotta go back, back. There we go, just slide it down. This, this right here, this is what it's all about, is uh, the smart screen. And basically this is gonna show you your voltage, uh, your motor amperage here, your temperature, and your RPMs. You do, you do need to go in here and set this up uh, to make sure that it corresponds with uh, your car setup. So it's switched over to a four pole motor and I changed up the rollout and that was what's gonna give you the proper RPM here. So that's what it's uh, really about. You know, being able to see your telemetry right there on the screen as you're going. You can see there's, check out that RPM. Hopefully that's in the uh, the shot. You can see the motor amp draw, the RPM, and that's just what's so cool. Watch it, you can see that temperature, or you can see the battery bar, excuse me, drop down as I'm ripping on this thing, so you know how much power you have left. actually have the, the, the game pretty well turned down on this so I could do all the driving. All right, that was a lot of fun. Definitely liking the radio so far. Time to do a little bit of crawling with it now. So now I am over at one of my local parks. I've got my Rugged and my SCX-10 III, and I'm just gonna go hiking through the trails. I'm gonna use my boom pole uh, so I could show you guys, you know, the truck in action while I'm driving it with one hand. I, I really enjoy this part. All right, let's go have some fun.
So this is one of my favorite spots in this park. Nice little hill under the trees, a couple rocks coming out of the ground here. And see, I could just go and do all of my, this is how I film most of my stuff, just like this. Which really is why I love this radio so much. And I like it so much more now that it has the new touch screen on it. This truck is still stock out of the box. It's running on 2S. And it is just a great truck for, for people getting into crawling. Look at that. Makes driving this thing so easy with this radio with the thumb knob on there. Back up nice and easy. There's a little bit of a throw issue when turning right on this. My, the travel's a little too short. Maybe my thumb's a little too short. It's just a great truck here. Let's watch this thing come up the hill here. So you get some of those nice low shots with the cameras. Coming up the hill, bet you that's gonna look awesome. Yeah, this this is such a great rig. Oh, let's see. Get, I gotta get it caught on this tree. Yep. It's amazing how much one small little spot can be so much fun for an RC rig like this. Now, one thing that's not easy to do is operate the dig with one hand controlling the radio. So now I got two hands on it. Uh, I've never been down this rock before, but there it is. There's my dig operated. And I got down that, no problem. That was pretty awesome. All right, so I'm gonna use the dig one more time over here. Again, I have it set up on switch G and I have it set up as a momentary. So as soon as I let go, the dig lets go, and there it's locked, there it's unlocked. You see, there it's locked. Oh, <laughs> slid right down, that was pretty awesome. All right, I gotta show you guys one more spot. I love this spot over here. Again, filming and driving at the same time. This is why I love this spot. I love the, just going around this tree and this rock right here. If I could use the dig function with the one in, one-handed driving, I could have made that, but uh, still looks good anyway. Let's do it one more time. Let's see if I get the, around that a little tighter. Of course, jet skis are going by in the lake. It's such an awesome spot to drive, though. Yeah, check out that articulation. It did it. That's pretty awesome. Before I wrap up testing, just want to go down this rock one more time. Up and over. There we go. I kind of had to mob that thing, but... Go throw the dig on. Well, let me come to the edge and throw the dig on here. Just let the front pull this thing down. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. All right, it's time to head back to the workshop. And we can wrap up the performance of the DX5 Rugged. It is time to wrap up this overview of the DX5 Rugged. And you know what? It's still a great radio system, in my opinion. Uh, I did enjoy it before, even with the, the sketchy touch panel in the back. But with now, with this new touch panel back here, it is so easy to go through the menu. You know, it's here and there, there is you know times where you do have to double tap it or something like that. But it's not the, the push down and kind of like, you know, jog by the, the thing you were looking to get into in the menu, like with the older radio system uh, this is way better uh, I, I really like it I mean it's really easy for me to drive especially with everything that I have to do driving and filming by myself for these review videos uh, I just found it super easy and comfortable to control when I was driving the, the Tenacity DB uh, I found it nice and comfortable to drive with that but uh, this is not just a drop in and go radio system I, I do want to make that pretty clear you will need to do some setup so you can't just go in and bind your system and go. Uh, I kind of did that with the Jeep, but uh, I had to go back in and actually program the dig for that. So you, there is some programming involved. And, and especially 
with like the Tenacity DB, there was much more involved in getting that all set up because you're dealing with the ABC and stuff. So you have to take that into consideration. You can't just bind it and go. And you really shouldn't anyway. Uh, you of course have to set all your trim functions. You have to set your endpoints, uh, but you do have to go into some of the extras. So just be aware of that. Um, is there anything wrong with this radio system? I know people want me to stomp my feet about something. Uh, and I, I don't really know what it is. Maybe they can include someone to, to drive it for you. That's really about it. If I had to, to maybe suggest something for it, uh, you know, maybe having like setup sheets so we know what to adjust uh, for the different smart vehicles that are out there. The Horizon Low Z Spectrum Camp uh, to, to really get this dialed in nice and easy and quick. Uh, maybe that would be one thing I would really like from them to do. But uh, you know, they, they give you a bunch of the information. You do have to go around and kind of hunt for it. I had to go through the manual to find how to set this up as far as the rollout and how many poles the motor was. Uh, you know, I, I forgot what it was offhand, so I had to look at the manual for that. But that's really about it. I mean, that's just part of tuning. That's part of setting up your radio system. And, and it's good that you're aware of all that stuff and, and how to tune it inside the radio. So, you know, this thing is a great radio system. It will, you know, be perfect for bashers, uh, even uh, it, perfect for racers as well. And for those of you that have multiple vehicles with Spectrum Electronics in there, this is just a great radio to dial them all into. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. Let me know what you think about the radio system in the comment section below. Give the video a like while you're there, and we'll see you back soon for some more RC Driver videos.